Hello? Can you hear me? you just passed out in this alley. I don't really have all my stuff. Hello? Hello? Oh my goodness, you're awake. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Hello? No, it's okay. Please relax. Relax. Just relax. here to hurt you. I found you. Passed out. Uh, I'm sorry if I frightened you. I, uh, I promise I'm, I'm not here to cause you harm. Um, I'm actually a nurse. I, uh, got asked to come into Gotham for a conference. I'm not really, uh, equipped to really practice in this city, but I couldn't ignore someone that's hurt. Um, I can't really see where you're hurt, um, but I can see some blood trickling from your, your cowl. <sighs> no, it's, it's okay. Um, are you hurt anywhere else? It's, this black clean Kevlar is kind of makes everything hard to see. No, it's okay. Um, uh, okay, um. Let's start with the head wound first. Um, no, again, it's okay. I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. Oh, goodness gracious. You look like you've been through quite a lot. Um, let me guess. It's been a long night for you. Mm, Halloween. When I arrived, I heard there was some commotion over at Arkham. Mm, the hospital, yes. Um, I'm guessing a lot of people got out, huh? I bet you did the best that you could. Um, can you, uh, can you open up your eyes for me? I know it's, it's kind of hard. I'm just going to see if I can. Quite bloodshot. I'm guessing you've been up all night. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I heard there was also some sort of gas leak. You weren't exposed to any of that, were you? I'm assuming your suit has pretty good filtration, <laughs> but I just want to be sure. From what I heard on the radio, those who were exposed to the gas ended up having hallucinations. Mm. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Um, with your permission, and I know this is going to be a really big ask, but um, can I take off your cow? I don't know how to put this delicately. Um, I, uh, I kind of already know who you are. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not hard to put two and two together, Bruce. <laughs> I mean, who else would have the amount of money to craft something this intricate? <laughs> I'm not even from Gotham. <laughs> Maybe it's easier to see when you're an outsider looking in. So, now that we got that out of the way, please allow me to help you, Bruce. I know all the good you do from the city. It's not hard to see. I mean, you're in all the papers. But just this time, will you allow someone to take care of you? I don't... I don't even think you can stand. Don't give me that. You're 
a superhero and that means a lot to people, but underneath this suit, underneath your, uh, your mask, you're still just a person. A person who's clearly in need of my help. So, will you allow me to take off your cowl? At least check if you have a concussion. Um, those are not something to play around with. No, sorry. Okay, good. Okay. Um, you know, I, I already knew what you looked like, but um, still kind of surprising to see up close. You took a fall from quite a quite a height. Um, yes. Um, would you mind if I see how far this cut goes? Thank you. Okay, just tell me if I'm hurting you, okay? I'm surprised somebody was able to sneak up behind you. Oh, trust me, your, uh, your reputation precedes you. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you've had such a tough night. But I bet the city is really thankful for you. This is what it took to knock you out. Anywhere else? No, not that I see. Okay, that's good. So, I know I can't necessarily tell you to go to a hospital or anything, but please tell me you have somebody who can take care of you when you get back to wherever you're from. You do. more than just you in this city. <laughs> that came out wrong. Um, you know, it's okay to ask for help when you need it, right? A big bat like you, I know. Very menacing. But... I don't like to see what this city is doing to you. I know that you think you're all alone, but there's so many people you can call on for help. Let me just see if I can get the other side of this wound, okay? I know you have an entire police force around you, too. We're willing to lend a hand. Oh, trust me, I met Gordon. He was quite lovely. best I can do. Um, let me just double check and make sure I got all the bleeding. Yes. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. 
You do know that the city does have a lot to thank you for, Batman, but you can't be in so many places at once. I mean, how many people did you stop tonight? I mean, Scarecrow, Joker, Clayface. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you were able to do it in one night. What am I saying, of course, explains why you're here behind this dumpster. I hope the uh, next Halloween will be easier on you. And good news, uh, I think it's almost 6 a.m. It means officially November 1st. Oh, you deserve a break. But uh, next time, try not to stretch yourself so thin. I promise you, the world won't combust if you just take one night off. Would you mind if I took a look at that wound that is on your stomach? Yes, the one that you've been trying to hide behind your hand. Trust me, I'm very good at my job. really not equipped for this. <sighs> no, it's okay. Uh, at least let me wrap you up so uh, you can get home in one piece and not crash your Batmobile. Wherever that is. It comes when you call it. Of course it does. <laughs> okay. Um, it looks like the bleeding has slowed a little bit, which is a positive sign. At least for right now. Can you look over at me real quick? I just want a quick double check. Your pupils. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, can you follow my finger really this side. Just with your eyes, remember. Just with your eyes. I'm just trying to see if you're able to focus properly. You're doing a great job. So if you do have a concussion, hopefully it's just a light one. Or at least maybe the gal protected you somehow. Hmm. Now on to that. So this is probably going to seem quite silly, but um, I'm going to try to close some of that up with band-aids. I know I don't, I don't have butterfly bandages to help, but at least it should hold if you go straight back home. Again, don't tell me. Don't tell me where you're going. Just promise me that you'll go straight there. Okay. It's the best I can do. Okay, let's see. Of course, a nurse is always prepared. Especially in a place like Gotham. may say. Despite what anyone says, uh, the city owes you a great debt. Not just as Batman, but also as Bruce. You give a lot of yourself to this place. I'm sorry, it's a thankless job. We don't hear it enough, but um, I'm uh, I'm going 
quite proud of you. You know, I bet, uh, I bet even your mother and father would be proud of you. Looking at the person you've become today. Doing your best to help. I know this may seem hard to believe, but I think in another universe, in another world, another time, your father before you <laughs> was also Batman. And I will to be happy. It's okay to let yourself be happy. <laughs> I know that's easier said than done. But if anyone deserves happiness, it's you. I mean, who else would spend all night risking their life? for one city. You think that's as closed as that's going to get? I know you're looking at me like I'm crazy. Promise me, though, that you'll think about what I said. Okay. Now, I'm gonna wrap this around you. Don't suck it in. Don't breathe too hard. I want this to be comfortable. At least comfortable enough for you to sit. I know I'm so sorry, but trust me, this is probably better than bleeding out in your Batmobile. in and out for me. Big deep breath in. And a big deep breath out. Big deep breath in. And a big deep breath out. Anything pulling? Can you breathe out? is officially the next day. You made it through this very long night. I hope after all of this, you, after getting medical attention, you get a nice, well-deserved rest. Thank you the city and the people closest to you. And, um, tell Alfred I said hi. You'll know who I am. <laughs> Good night.